Yebo, yebo, yebo. Welcome to Watch Me Build It. If you have watched a few of my videos and you enjoy the content, may I ask you to take a moment to click subscribe and like at the bottom of this video. I really do appreciate it. So something I enjoy about Namoki is, although they started sort of as a store selling watch mod parts for Seiko, they've really gone to new places and they develop a whole lot of cases that allow you to build watches of different kinds that are not just homages or modified versions of the Seiko dive watches. Last year, they launched a case that I found, well, inspiring, and it was a dual crown diver case. So this case harks back to an era from the middle of the 20th century where there was a case manufacturer that was making these dual crown cases for many different um, manufacturers of watches and they were dropping their their movements and dials into cases like this. So the idea behind the dual crown case um, is that the bezel for your dive time is included on the inside of the domed crystal. The original cases had a screw down crown for the bezel so you would set your your bezel and then you would screw the crown down and it would prevent the danger of your bezel moving and confusing the dive time which could be rather dangerous. It, they produce really good looking watches um, in these cases um, and they're quite you know quite famous. Recently there's been a resurgence in these dual crowns and one of the more famous ones um, is from Longines and I'm going to put a little bit of footage up here um, of the Longines watch. So when I saw the dual crown case on the Namoki website, I reached out to Namoki and I said, hey, can I do a project with you? So I've selected a case and two sets of hands, a dial and a movement. And the ambition isn't to kind of get to what the Longines model looked like, but rather a build inspired by that. This video is a short review of the parts that have arrived and my next video will be a build video. So enjoy the footage. Hopefully the information is helpful for you as a watch modder or hobbyist and uh, we'll see you on the back end of this. So here we have everything that comes inside the box. First of all we've got Namoki's international warranty with their return policy printed on the back. The second card is a thank you card where if you use the hashtag Namoki mods on an Instagram post you could win $50 store credit. Um, they choose a winner every month. Our first item is this black waffle strap. It's rubber. It's quite thick. Um, it's well made and comfortable enough. It's not the softest one that you're going to find. Got ventilation gaps on the bottom. Double keepers. Um, it's good for wrists from between 5.8 to 8 inches. All in all, a good strap that will last a long time. I like the double keepers too. So the name of it is the Rubber Strap Waffle Black, $22. Um, packaging, 3 out of 5. Quality, 12.5 out of 20. Fit and finish, 10. Value, 6.5. 32 out of 50. Total score. Then we move on to our first item. Well, look at the packaging. Nice and solid. Typical Namoki tins. We open the tin. We find on the inside there's some soft material at the top soft material at the bottom and uh, you won't get Namaki parts coming to you damaged. This is the NMK945 PL case. Plastic paper and here we have the case. Take off a little bit of plastic and as I'm having a look at this case I'm loving the dome sapphire, I'm loving the thin slender profile but my eye has just been caught by little blemishes and I start having a closer look. I realize there's this strange fiber caught in the edge of the crystal. Um, it might be, I don't know what it was, adhesive or I don't know, easily removed. But then I climbed into the microfiber cloth and I found there were many places. There were small blemishes that could easily be removed with a good wipe. Um, case back also had a few bits and pieces. I gave it a good wipe but then I found a tiny little hairline scratch that should not have been there on the case back. Really not the end of the world 
But all in all, I just think the QC and the X cleaning on this case were not fantastic. So I took a cloth to it, polished up the crowns, starting to look better. Look at these lugs. They're nice and slender. They're drilled lugs. Great bezel on this one. I want to just show you on the inside of the lugs how well it's finished at the back of the case. It's a bit rough there where I'm pointing right now, but really, oh, hang on. Here's some more culprits. Let's get the microfiber cloth and have a look what happens. Yeah. And a bit of a rub to reveal excellent, excellent brushing on the case flanks. So the case is really well finished, but um just not clean very well. So here's our crown, which rotates the bezel. I brought a bit of footage in over here to show you how the little gearing mechanism works. It really is a bit of fun. Um, it would be great if this was a screw down crown. Look at that domed sapphire crystal. Look at the finishing behind the lugs. Really, I think it's a very well done case. Let's check the crown. It screws on and off easily enough. It's not rough. Um, that's put together well. Actually a very good case. Let's do some dimensions. Case width 38.3. The lug to lug 47 mil. Thickness only 11.9 mil. Lug width 20 mil. How about the weight? The case weighs 33 grams, throw in the strap and you're at 45 grams. So the dual crown dive case costs $182. Bear in mind that is for the case, crystal, bezel, case back and crowns. Compatible with Seiko movements. I'm giving this a three and a half out of five for packaging. I'm taking off two points because of the post-production QC, so it gets 14 and a half out of 20. 11 out of 15 for fit and finish, and I'll tell you why in the conclusion of the video. 7 out of 10 for value, total score of 36 out of 50. Okay, what's in the next container? Here we have the dial 80084. This one's packaged in cellophane and paper. This isn't Momoki's best solution. They have a better way of packaging their dials in a plastic container with foam. And we'll see why this isn't the best in a, in a few moments. Around the back of the dial, it's fair enough. Um, there's good adhesive there. You know your indices aren't going to come off of this dial. Um, but yeah, fair finishing. Around the front, it's beautiful. But dusty so I'm gonna need to bring in the puffer puffer gets rid of most of the trouble um, and uh, enjoying the sunburst but still there are a few little bits and pieces that can be removed for some pegwood but all in all it actually is a very good quality dial beautiful sunburst amazing indices they're applied great loom so for $42, this watch dial 80084, 28.5 um, mil wide, dates, feet for 3 and 4 o'clock, compatible with Seiko movements, 2.5 out of 5 for packaging, 16 out of 20 for quality, we lost 2 points because of the dust, fit and finish 14 out of 15, value 7.5 out of 10, total of 39 out of 50. Let's take a look at some hands. First up are the Pilot hands, 70062. Now these are packaged really well. Looking at the hands, they're very simple. Plain brass with loom finishing and a matte black, but finished really well. There's no blotches or blobs on the underside of the hands. Um, yeah, done really well. The loom is really good. Um, quite a lot of fun. So, we've got 4 out of 5 for packaging, 16 out of 20 for quality, fit and finish, 12 out of 15, 7 out of 10 value, 39 out of 50. And moving on to 70061, these are the 50 fathom hands, silver hands with applied loom. 
I'm going to take a closer look at these ones. Let's have a look here. Yeah, now, these are silver, highly polished, a uh, different proposition altogether. Beveled sides, so they catch the light, but really well finished, very neat on the underside, the way the loom is applied. Um, there was the minute hand. Our hand is very, very similar. Just well done, well finished. And then the second hand has got a red tip. I'm a real sucker for a red tip second hand. I really do like these. Um, so we're going to go with 4 out of 5 on packaging, 17.5 out of 20 for quality, fit and finish of 13 out of 15, value 6.5 out of 10, and a total of 41 out of 50. So what do you think? I think it's a good case. I think it's a good start. And the thing is, Nomoki are innovating over here, and innovation is always a process. So I wouldn't be hesitant to recommend this case for a build, but you need to know what you're building with. So if they do a Rev 2, the things that I think would take this to the next level, um, first of all would be, you know, fix the QC out of the factory. Um, there's no need to have to clean up a case that you've paid premium money for. That's an easy fix. The other one would be the sharp edges on the bottom of the case. Um, they're not, it's not a, a, a deal breaker, but it's a place where improvement could take place. And then the two that I think could really upgrade this case, the one would be the tolerances. So I've already built the first version of this watch. And when I tightened the case back to its acceptable tightness for a full waterproof rating, the bezel couldn't move because it was sandwiching everything up against the inside of the Ray Heart. So I had to, I had to come off on the, on the case back, I had to loosen it a little bit so that I could get a smooth movement on the bezel. Now that's going to affect the waterproof rating on the watch and I don't think that's ideal. So that needs to be addressed. And then one that could take it to the place it can go would be if that bezel crown was a screw down crown like they used to do on the originals. That could possibly take it up to a proper dive rating on the waterproof front and turn it into everything that it could be. For now though, yes, go ahead, buy yourself one, but know what you're building. You're building a watch that looks like a diver from the mid-century, but it's not something you'd be able to go diving with. The dial is great, the hands are nice. I think the, the 50 Fathoms hands are probably gonna do the job the best, but I'm eager to show you what the pilot hands look like. And all in all, I think you can get a really solid watch that isn't another clone of a Seiko diver. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I look forward to seeing you in the build video. Cheers.